Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm up at the neighbor's landing and look who's back to work after a six-day vacation <laughs> of playing games. Yeah, being sick. See, I guess he was sick, so he's been out working all morning while I did a delivery um, at 41 miles north of here. It's about one o'clock and we left this trailer up here, but his truck can't really haul this trailer and back it up. But you can see he's got all nice, this looks like all red and white oak in here. Is there any cherry in there, Mike? No. Okay, all, all, all red oak. And then uh, we got the quad trailer back, but now <laughs> been having tire issues. I guess that one's got a leak in it. He said every time uh, he drives or it sits, it, it, it runs out. I don't know, it looks like it's holding right now. But he's got the next load of uh, Next load of oak going in. Oh, and we got some dry wood in there too. So we got to make sure that goes to bay one because that's empty. So I just wanted to show you how far we're traveling to get this wood at. So, all right, Mike, let's go for a little road road trip. I'm going to hold on and drive, but I'll just kind of show you that, you know, the property owner's driveway and where I'm going to get this wood at. It's not really that bad. Okay. Mike, you're gonna have to hold the camera while I, uh, you know, I got a ratchet strap myself in that keeps the door <laughs> shut. Just hold it steady for a second. So it takes two hands to do that. Here, look, show around that. I'll, I'll get it. What, you see, see, I gotta pull this tight. <laughs> see that? <laughs> see what I gotta do? <laughs> Put my seatbelt on. I'll just leave it down. It's about 55 degrees. It's hot outside. I'm sweating. Yeah, Mike's sweating. He's been here since oh, oh nine, nine, about nine o'clock. So here's his driveway, and there, there's uh, there's tops on on uh, on this side. You can see right in there. See that big pile? All that. He's gonna. I guess he's gonna drag it out. Mike doesn't want to get in there and fight with the uh, with the prickers. But um, there's stuff on this side too. You can see what, those are some of the piles that they already cut. But look down in this valley. You can see that there's some more oaks, dead oaks over there for Mike to cut. And then there's a big pile right there. Nice, nice uh, top. Look at that. Look at all that wood there. But I think he's going to drag it out to here because it's kind of hard to get to. And up here's here's where the power lines are. And you can see some of the stuff that they've left up on the side there. You see that? See that mound man? Look at that. That'd be easy to cut, but Josh doesn't own on this side. This is J Josh's side where he's been. Uh, there's his wood pile over there because that's all he heats with. That's his wood pile stacked there. He dragged out all these oak tops. Be sure nice if. Uh, we could get in there and cut those, and then there's like another pile right there. But this is a gravy train, but right now Mike can get in the woods, it's not too bad. But it'd be nice if he could get this. He could cut so many trailer loads so quick right there. I mean, that's so easy. <coughs> yeah, I'll just back his truck up, or my truck, or the trailer. I'll bring my truck back up. Uh, did you put, hey Mike, did you put air in the um, tire on, yes. the, on his? Yep. I'm glad they got an electrical outlet up, up there. Yeah, but, uh, he does. Oh, there's Dan Bacon. He's out there. He's a good guy. Just wave. He's a logger. All the bacons are pretty much. And there's, there's a bunch of tops in there, too, on that side. And there's his log skitter. Pretty nice. Yeah, I think it's really nice. So this is, I mean, this is technically a road, but, and somebody put out a, a scrap grill, so my side job is doing uh, metal scrapping. So if, Mike, you wanna go out and grab that piece of junk real quick, throw it in the truck.
hopefully it doesn't make too much of a mess. Sometimes all that charcoal and crap goes out. Right. Yep. Right. Yeah, he's just like, hey, thank you. <laughs> cool, good deal. No, I mean, pretty much anything that they set out by a dumpster is fair game as far as I'm concerned. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there scrap metal too, even though the price is down compared to where it was, you know, five, six years ago. When it was like 250 a ton or something like that. I think it's only like 150 a ton right now. So I probably should hand Mike the phone again, or camera, just uh, cause I'm gonna need, uh, I don't want a cop driving by and seeing me holding this camera up. <laughs> so here, take that, just hold it straight, just kinda let him see the road. Mike's coughing. I guess he was sick. But oh, and guess what? Oh boy, Zach, I ran into him yesterday. He got he got fired from his uh, seven day a week job. So the competition's back on, folks. <laughs> We're taking bets again. But Mike said needs to get back up to 100%. Like I say, he's been sick all week. So if you're watching, Zach, you know, and Zach, if you want to work Sunday, I, I, I won a bunch of money in the lottery yesterday. So uh, I got money to pay you if you want to work Sunday. I'll find something for you to do. So, I'll take the camera back. Here we are. Long drive, right? <coughs> you guys recognize that sign, don't you? Yeah. I hope the scrap people, yep, they're already gone. They um, know. Yeah, they, uh... If they don't know how to drive, then there's something wrong. Yeah, with them. I guess, I guess they went and turned around. I had a scrap refrigerator. Michigan has a, a program where if you, uh, scrap refrigerators, they pay you 50 bucks for it. You know, the scrap price is like 10 bucks, so every time I find one, but you can only do two a year. And this is my second one. Mike and I got one the other day. So. I'm gonna start again after yeah, right that's there. where we're gonna load up at, Mike. After we unload this, we're going to, uh, we gotta go back up there. I'll drive up the trailer. He's gonna refill it and fill up his truck. He's got his truck back. So, I'm gonna pull up here and then let let Mike show you how good I can back a trailer up. <laughs> <laughs> and then you see why I just use my truck for deliveries. <laughs> All right, Mike, go ahead. Whatever you do, don't don't touch this button here and don't I put know. your finger across it. I know. Okay. <laughs> so shut the door. Your cameraman just. Move. Come straight back.
You're doing good. There you go. No, you should have left the wheels the other way. See how good he does next time. <laughs> All right, game player, start unloading. I'm gonna set up this tripod to watch us unload. Whatever, we'll see. Well, yeah, the quad's easier. <laughs> yeah, I guess I got back far enough. Oh, you're good. <laughs> I don't know. I, I gotta help him, but I'm trying to set this tripod up. I don't know where to put it. You gotta be able to see them. See us. Let's see, that might be good. You know, trying to do everything with one hand. 